Okay, so let's talk about flame polishing. We need to use our lighter. Um, this is what we have for our to-go kit. And we want to make sure that uh, all these details that we've carved aren't lost. But if we're trying to get this to a high gloss finish, we can use flame polishing for that. Uh, this is primarily done with an alcohol lamp, but I don't know anyone who carries a tiny glass vial of flammable liquid with them everywhere, as well as, you know, matches and lighters. Uh, usually if you bring that into a store or, or a park, people start asking, you know, what's with the homemade arsonist kit. But um, lighters are common. No one thinks about it, so you can just do this. And I'm just going to strike the flame and then just roll it across the surface. And that'll slowly bring the wax up to temperature for a, front, a very high gloss. And so you can see where it starts to go to a high sheen. And you don't want to flame polish too quickly because if you do that, um, it tends to get rid of all of the details you took the time to carve. So I'm just letting that flame walk across the surface gently to bring the surface texture back up to a high gloss. You want to be careful of your fingers. Um, you can't rush. Like once you've done flame polishing in these regions, you've got to let the wax cool down. But you can see why uh, it helps to have a handle when you're doing this. The only disadvantage is if you have a lot of wax on the perimeter that you're using for a handle, sometimes it gets in the way of you flame polishing your material. So you want to make sure that when you're doing that, your fingers are nowhere near the flame and that you're just slowly applying the flame to the surface. And make sure that your lighter doesn't heat up too much. Um, this little protective flange, if that's hot, it's time to take a break. And uh, flame polishing is a really good way to get that final finish with very little work. Um, and it really emphasizes what you carved and what you didn't carve and the depth, but it smooths out the details that uh, it's really hard to do with the pokey tool. Um, you can come back with a tool called a Fordham tool and uh, kind of polish that way, but it's very labor intensive. And I find if you're calm and patient with your Bic lighter, you get a very nice high gloss finish as long as you take your time and go slow. Right? This is one of those things where you've got to be very careful because it is fire. You'll notice that uh, I'm not wearing any synthetic material. My table is wood, but it's a hard, solid piece of wood, and there's nothing around me that can just burst into flame. So, you know, don't go doing this in like a ball of paper shreddings. Um, if you're in the park and it's summer and there's a bunch of dry grass, it's a terrible idea. Right? Don't do that. Uh, make sure you're on wet green grass if you're outside or you've got a nice hard table that's, you know, formica covered or solid wood, something that won't burst into flames uh, immediately. And uh, from there, you can get a pretty good high gloss finish with a little bit of work and uh, some calm, patient finesse.